wrong way around. So that's disorienting, but it's fine. Looks like it's running on my end. Perfect. Perfect. Mute that window and turn it off. Okay. Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons, everyone. I am, as always, your DM Falcon. I'll bring my players in in just a moment. Uh, it is Saturday. I think we've got everybody here except Alpha and Chanty for the moment, but I think Chanty will be here a little bit. So let me go ahead and grab them, and I'll do a bit of a recap. Hiking. Oh. Wild. I... Australia is like that, Jay. Australia is just like that. It, if it's the most deadly of a certain thing in Australia, it is probably the most deadly thing in the world. Almost certainly. That thing in the world. Yeah. Oh, at first well, I thought you were... 90% of the time, at least. I didn't see JD's comment at first, so I thought you were saying that the underworld, or the, uh, the underdark was like Australia. I <laughs> should hope not. God, no. Okay. I feel like the underdark is a little more like Madagascar, where there's just like a bunch of weird shit there that's not necessarily harmful, but is like endemic to there. It's a highly varied place. It's like Have <laughs> Systems, because it is one. <laughs> um, okay, so... It's been a little bit since we game, so I'll recap from a, a while back. Uh, you guys are on a quest to find the materials needed to create a, quote, weapon, uh, slash tool, unquote, which you can use to defeat the Emperor. Who does one D&D? &D? Well, I would hope you know by now, but, you know. Um, uh, defeat the Emperor. In order to do that, you've been floating around the, the material plane in your uh, ship, the Shard of Akron, you located some of the materials you need, including a crucible that you can use to hold magma when you eventually find its source, and you have a flower that you need to trade to the uh, Empress of Storms and Light in order f uh, to acquire a fulgurite, which you will use as the skeleton of your weapon. You do, however, also need a, quote, pattern from a dark and ancient mine, unquote, which you have ascertained is likely in the Underdark, uh, the mind being that of the Webmother, uh, the Underdark goddess of communication. Are you going to make another emperor? Hmm. Like, like a mech, or? Yeah, my brain immediately went to Pacific Rim, I have to say. <laughs> The power of friendship takes down this evil Pattern. thing. Well, you know, um, it does. It does technically have flesh, teeth, and as well, skin, flesh, and bones. But Man, we are creating just a giant mech. <laughs> I don't think it's a mech. I'm sorry. My apologies. I don't know if I believe you. <laughs> you know. I mean, if you wanted to divert your campaign, you could likely make a giant mech. God damn it. But you'd have to, like... <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's so good. I am That's adorable. Um, it's adorable. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, you uh, decided to head into the Underdark next and went to the University of Iril, hoping that you'd be able to uh, find a way in by searching the university's records for for locations and information. You also looked up the, quote, creature that eats time, unquote, while you were there, and f figured out it is something uh, called a chronal vampire, which you found on a devil contract, so you know that at least the denizens of hell know of this thing. Um, it, it exists somewhere in a series of cold mountains. You're pretty. You're pretty sure. Somewhere, somewhere cold and snowy. Uh, which you only I know scried on it because Tiska scried it. Yep. Uh, you are are now headed towards the Underdark, though you are currently in Iril waiting for your visas to process. So you're still waiting on on those to to be pushed through the the correct channels so that you can actually gain access to the Underdark. And you know that in order to get into the Web Mother's domain, you'll probably have to go through Suthara. Which is, of course, the currently quarantined uh, realm of the UNT. Lurks, could you put yourself on push to talk? Sure. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, which is the currently quarantined and shut off from the rest of the world realm of the UNT. 
it has been that way since uh, about 3,000 years ago when the Trifurium took control and pushed out the old serpent guts. You also have come to the conclusion that you might have to do something about these, in part due to the fact that uh, Misa revealed some information about her past and the Trifurium's past and the old serpent gods to the college, and shortly thereafter a group of Trifurium assassins snuck on board your ship uh, and tried to kill all of you, and did succeed in killing one of you, but Mir got better, so it's fine. Uh, you killed all the assassins, but one who you captured, she, it turns out she was under Gaius. Uh, oh, how did... Gesh? Is that, it's, isn't that pronounced Gesh? We had a whole discussion about how, how it's pronounced. It was a thing. Gias was Gias? what I went with, but I don't know what that's... We had, like, a thing where we looked it up, and it's Gaelic, so it's pronounced weird. Yeah, so I thought I thought we ended up finding it, it was Gesh or something. Um, yes. Lurks. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I will probably continue to say chaos. That's fair. You, no, yeah, you were, you were all the way dead. You were fully dead. You went to the next world and then came back. <laughs> so, you defeat the assassins, except Kaimi, who you kept. Uh, bury their bodies, though you realize that their souls have not moved on to Servant Home, as they are somehow unable to do so, it's in due part to something that the Trifurium is doing. Or not due in whole, really. Not in part. But the Trifurium has claimed all their souls somehow, so they can't go to the next realm. Uh, and now you're returning to Idle to await the, uh, the end of the processing period for your visa suit and go to the Underdark. That's where we are, I believe. I don't think you did much after the um, the uh, burying the assassins thing. Yes. So I think we'll pick up right out there. I mean, I guess our next thing is to just kind of land. Do we need another... Uh... Do we need something for Kaimi to get her into the Undergrid Dark? Because we Ooh. have one for everyone else, right? Good question. Yeah. Um, I suppose you would. Might add a day or two onto the processing time, but... Then we will do that. Right ho. That'll end a, add a little bit of time. And a partner visa. Oh, you actually know more than I do about this, JD, so tell us. <laughs> Yes, JD, visas. Visas. Not the credit card. Poor JD. <laughs> so, you're dependent or their partner, okay. Re uh, obtaining legal custody of Kaimi? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose Misa but might be able to have legal custody of her. Oh god. Just here, just sign these papers. Why? Because we're adopting you. Oh, it's um. the adoption form. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> While they're discussing this, Mir makes a you know what call on a sending stone to arrange mm -hmm. a meeting. Of course. Oh boy. Do you have to have your original documents? Because I don't think those exist. Because Tessa most definitely doesn't have any. No. <laughs> that sure is true. <laughs> Misa has adopted both. <laughs> Tiska arguably does not have a birth certificate. I don't think any of you do. Oh no. <laughs> to be honest, you have magic. That's correct. But do you have birth certificates? <laughs> None of you Which can run is more for important? Because, like, I was kind of dropped. Tiska was just kind of dropped off on a doorstep, Harry Potter style, basically. Mm hmm. You really were. We're all so yeah. sketchy. Yeah. One of us more than others. Hey. 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 <laughs> Hey. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna go into the details of the visa application process because, um, <laughs> <laughs> really? No, Falk, you have to tell us right now. No. What are the details? I'm gonna battle you in Please, no. combat. <laughs> I control like the world here. Going... <laughs> like, I'm just uh. going to defeat you. Rocks fall and then you die. That's fair. Whomst is that? Teeth. Quality thought. <laughs> oh. Everybody who plays a tiefling plays this kind of tiefling. Not necessarily, <laughs> but generally. I mean, that's a very valid kind of tiefling to play. It very much is, yes. Yeah. The writer was too much of a grouchy bookworm. <laughs> Sad bird was not like that at all. Sad bard. Neither was maybe. Maybe a little bit like that. I Less mean, maybe more, uh... No, Did she was Drow. I don't drow know what the fuck I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Might be. Although I feel like Drow have that aesthetic, aesthetic very often also. It's true. If people play their characters, because they're just like, time to be as sexy as humanly possible. Go on, be sexy. Rather, That's Drow. Not humanly. Yeah. Okay. As so sexy we'll as do. Humanly oh, possible? We'll do something to get Kaimi exactly. in. <laughs> The point is, uh, yes, it, was, it will be pretty easy to add Kaimi onto your request. Magic. As long as you guys vouch for her. Yes. And then I believe you wanted to set up a, a guide of some type? Yeah, that would be good. Because okay. we like not uh, getting lost and dying. Do you yes. need one if you have me and Kaimi? In the guide, Underdark? Guide in the Underdark. Oh, guide. Underdark, yes. Through I thought you were talking Sarah. about Sigara. Okay. Nope. Um, but Mir is familiar with a um, uh, uh, someone who could function as an Underdark guide. Oh, yeah! Woo! So you could, I think, I think you mentioned maybe calling them for assistance in this matter? Yes. Those two. Well, I didn't know if I had their direct contact, so I was going to ask Nasiri Yeah, they did. Yeah, you can get to them. Through through multiple channels, you can, you can get to them. Um, and I believe, let me check my notes, I believe... Aurelian and Azkrik, right? Yeah, Aurelian oh. and Azkrik. They are good people. Where the hell did yes. I write down where everybody is? Good God, where did I put that information? Um, That's a mood. I got pages and pages of info here, but I'm trying to remember where exactly I put the location information for where all of the... Where the fuck is it? Oh my god, I'm blind. Uh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to remember if you guys were going to somehow go directly into the webmother's domain, or if you had to go through Hunger of Thousands place first. I think we were going to try to go directly into Webmother, okay. but, and like, that was the point of going through Suthara. Right, yeah, let me... I, I feel like that was correct. Oh, here it is, okay. Um, Webmother. Kaival reached Suthara, yep, okay, so you can get directly to her place. So it won't be too hard. And it looks like... She's Tangle Root Basin in Suthara. So you can stay clear of the, the many legged Maw's domain. Okay. Right ho. Uh, in which case, with your guides, uh, your your guides, Aurelian and Azkrik, will agree to um, head over into that area so that when you reach the entry point designated, whichever entry point they assign you, uh, when your stuff gets approved, uh, they will be waiting to help you from there. But they're not How's coming that? into Sudara with us. No, they'll be underground already. They're like, yeah, no, we're not dealing with that shit. They're citizens of the they're... Underdark, so they can freely yeah. travel. Yeah. They're also coming from a different direction? Yeah, they're coming from a Yeah. 
Um, and then how long does it take to set up my other meeting, or when can I have Oh, we can do that meeting? now. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to set it up so that he comes to us. The question is, when does that get set up? Wait, pardon? I need to speak to Hessa before said meeting. I'm trying to figure out what ah, time. Go ahead and do that. Hello. Hessa. <laughs> Uh, so Mir squints at you. Yeah, Mir's gonna find a time when Hessa is not with the rest of the party. <laughs> she just tries to take your coffee mischief. again. How dare you? Hit? If this is about different. the coffee, I don't have any. <laughs> no, no, I. It's fine. I just want to talk to you about something else. Just out of character. I'm almost wondering if I should. Do you want everybody else to deafen? So it can be a surprise, yes. Go ahead. Oh boy. Uh, Ooh. The three of you, hush, hush. Close your ears. Mm -hmm. Fear. <laughs> I'm getting more excited, yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know you. what would be really important to have up now? My mm. character sheet. Oh my god. <laughs> One would hope. Probably. D, hey, close thine ears. Fine. Lurks, close thine ears. Shoo shoo. There we are. Yes. Okay. So yeah, he approaches. Says, no, no, it's it's not about the coffee. Um, it's about something else. Where I think perhaps some of your skills could be as well. It's a couple of things. One, I would not be opposed to adding some defenses to the ship, but, 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 they need to be done carefully, and we need to be trained to avoid them. Hmm. So we want us to walk into our own home and get stabbed in the face again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so the other thing, and you don't have to say yes to this, I just want to preface with that, I know it's going to be a um, stressful thing to ask you to do, but basically it occurred to me that uh, at some point we're going to want to deal with Suthara, the whole government thing, and that, um... Yeah, that's a um, whole thing. It might be good to have some intelligence there, and maybe start getting a message to the people there, and maybe also look at the flow of information into Suthara about our stuff. Um, basically what I'm saying is we know a bastard media mogul, and I know he's a bastard, but also if we can't deal with that right now, we should make it work for us. And also, I think he owes us more pay again. <laughs> and, Are and you suggesting us talk to Ruvain? Mr. Yes. Bastard Man. Yes. <laughs> what would... I, I know. Can I insight check? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> that was... There we go. Seventeen. Not bad. Mir does not like this idea, even as she's saying it, but she also knows that certain things need to be done. Might be easier this help in particular. Not letting footage of our new uh, snake friend get the fact that she is not working for them get back to the um to Serpent Home, the Trifurium. Like That's... maybe we maybe we want them to just think she's dead <laughs> and That's... not bother her anymore. <laughs> That's fair. Um, I've actually been thinking about talking to the group about this. Do you want to talk to the group about this? About talking to Ravain? Or is this... Would you prefer it to stay um, between us? I don't want to mention it to Misa just yet, because I'm yeah, afraid that's if fair. she does, she'll, she'll try to go take his head off, and there are reasons we shouldn't do that. Um, yeah, I kind of hate the man, too. I was thinking the two of us could go meet him, um, but maybe tell at least one other party member, maybe Kaimi, um, where we're going, so if we don't come back, they know. Okay. I, I don't um, think that will happen, but I also did not think I would get stabbed the other night, so, you know, continue You should always expect to get stabbed. That's the first <laughs> thing they teach you in Suthara. <laughs> God. Oof. Oh, God. Um, 
But, um... Okay, so... This stays between us. For now, yes. unless you want to bring other people into it. Um, he might have talked to me at one point or another about this kind of deal. Oh. Yes. And he said his offer was that if I did certain things for him, he would tell me information or feed information to Suthara. What keep them off my back. That sort of thing. Are you? What did he ask you to do, if you, if you don't mind saying? He didn't specify, but he did say that it was probably less than legal things that the group would probably frown upon. I haven't done anything for him. He, he never contacted me, and honestly, I figured with what happened last night, um, it wouldn't really matter anymore. But... Fair. <laughs> yeah, but I'd be willing to do that. I was already... I, I figured I could maybe spin this to help the group, but I was still thinking on it. I guess my main thought is we could offer him, because, I mean, carrying around a rock could offer to get footage from inside Suthar for them to once things had blown over, at least come to a head, they could do it that way, say, hey, you've basically got reporters on the ground for when shit hits the fan. That's fair. I don't know if he would take that. He seems... From the way he talked, he it sounded like he had spies there already. This is, what, this is why I wanted to ask you. You were better with the the people in the subterfuge and things. I do try my best. Um, but I'd be willing to do this. Okay. Uh, well, what kind I... of... What would you want to get out of it? Uh... For the group, or want, whatever. You don't want Kaimi broadcast. Um, and we want to try and maybe start winning people over in Suthar, or start sowing some dissent. So that we're not trying to fight an entire country. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Alright. This is gonna be fine. <laughs> yeah. I was also... I'm not sure if he can do this, of course, but... Um... I was going to see if I could get Lorelai out of her contract. I don't know if that's possible, but I would like her to not die if things go downhill with him. I don't know if that's possible at all, but... You can certainly try. Okay. I'm up for it. <laughs> All right. Let's go have lunch with the, well, one of the biggest bastards we know, probably. <laughs> but we, you All seem right. to have come into an unfortunate amount of contact with bastards. <laughs> Man, Mir, I never thought you would be the one going down this path with me, but I am all for it. Neither did I. I'm a little bit terrified, but <laughs> we're getting into a lot of stuff, and we're gonna have to take some risks, and I like hopefully it. this one is less awful than other ideas I've been having. <laughs> also, I will allow you some coffee again. Just, just please don't drink an entire pot of one. Tess's <laughs> eyes go wide. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we join the rest of the group or let them listen on in on the actual conversation? Oh, that's up to you. If you want to, Mr. Man, do you want to? I kind of want to have them, them hear the actual meeting <laughs> just for the fun of it. <laughs> have it happen. No explanation. <laughs> All right, we'll tell them to come back. Yep. No, oh, no. <laughs> I 
Jax Knuckles, this is gonna be good. No, it's fine. <laughs> I will certainly have fun. Um, so. We'll have to find out. <laughs> Nothing's going on, JD. What are you talking about? <laughs> the other two are still absent. Well, one of them is still absent. Echo, come on. Join us. Echo. 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 <laughs> Echo is busy. There we are. Hello. All right. Echo returns. I'm, I return. Uh, they they wanted you to hear this. So. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, me and Hester are going out for lunch. You're going yeah. out for lunch. Um, yeah. Aww. Some the nice finger sandwiches, you. you know, some tea, fancy uh, stuff. So you could definitely set up a meeting uh, in the offices or actually out somewhere. Um, I'd assumed out somewhere because I thought they were like a day away from where we are. Wherever they would like to meet us. Yeah, I mean, he'll meet you out for lunch somewhere. That's fine. Has a most definitely cases the joint beforehand. Yep. Oh yeah. Sure. No, um, we specifically want to pick somewhere without a lot of prying eyes. Steals a pin. Without Maybe a lot two. of prying eyes. Okay. I'm um, going to a restaurant. Steal the salt shaker. So it's a. Uh, <laughs> that was out of character. Right. I should clarify. No, it should be <laughs> in character. Okay, so let's see here. It's uh let's say it's a nice it's a nice cafe, um, but it's it's got like a large sort of back area where um there's a bunch of like individual little desks and tables and whatnot, or, t or tables and chairs, but they're all separated from each other by these little miniature glades of trees, effectively. Um so each one is in its own like, tiny little clearing. So they're quite private. Um, but it is open air and very nice. Yeah, it's quite bougie actually. Uh, his choice. Yeah, he's paying. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's fine. See it. He better pay. He he will offer to so even. It's a local place. Okay. Right. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you you could check that out. You, how long it? What are you out there for? Like an hour and a half before you under? Um, yeah, I guess so. Okay. Maybe two hours, something uh, like that. Yeah. In which case... Hessel case the place, Mir will, like, take a shopping list from her for bits for her new traps. I'd like to reiterate, steals a few pins. <laughs> maybe a fork or two. Could stealing God stuff from a random little establishment. <laughs> um, no. Oh it's God. what she does. It's true. It is true. I, no one can change her nature. It's her brand. It is. Uh, How so... dare you... <laughs> Steal pens from food service workers. <laughs> Honestly, they have enough trouble as it is. Yeah, no, be, not, be nice to the women. We can never find pens. <laughs> God mood. <laughs> you actually, you do spot his, uh, he, when he arrives. He actually, it's in, it's a place in Iril, uh, on the edge of Iril, near the forest, but, uh, well, you're all in the forest, but out of the city center. Um, so it's a nice, quiet, sort of, more neighborhood-like area. Uh, and you do see him arrive in a carriage, which is drawn by a winged horse. <laughs> uh, he arrives... Oh, she... Pretentious. Yeah, you know. He arrives, uh, enters, checks in. What a bougie asshole. You, uh... Just remember, we gotta not call him that to his face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he can probably tell. No matter how tempting. Almost certainly. Uh, I'm like ninety percent sure he can read minds. <laughs> Only ninety percent sure. Pretentious. No, hundred percent. He sure. has read your mind. Oh yes, he can read minds. Thinks, <laughs> thinks pretentious dickweed at the top of my brain voice. <laughs> yes. Uh, so you can enter as well. He's in one of the further back, more private areas. There is nobody nearby, as requested. Uh, so nobody could overhear your conversations. You see, he is waiting for you. I look at us and say, you ready for this? <laughs> nope, but, but let's do it. Right. Same! Let's go! <laughs> Alright. You, uh, you enter, sit down at his, at the table where he is, and he says, 
to what do I owe the pleasure of this meeting? I know you requested one, but I'm... You didn't really drop any details regarding what you wanted to speak of. You didn't just look through our brains? No, that's rude. Oh, no. I don't tend to do that. Thank it's you for meeting with us, Mr. Saris. Of course. Yeah. We wanted to discuss some recent events you probably got uh, a look at through the Swearing Stone and some potential future activities that should be handled with delicacy. Right, of course. The assassination attempt. Yeah. It does happen. Yeah. We did catch a, a bit of that on the stone, though, of course, not much of an angle, as there is only one stone, and of course, as per our agreement, we don't look inside your living quarters. What exactly did you want us to do about that? I was planning on withholding all sorts of information about it, until we had your counsel, of course. Of course. We wanted to talk about a previous deal that you talked to me about. Ah, yes. I know Isn't... you hadn't come forward with any more details, but... Uh, it was a case-by-case -case basis, of course, as I told you before, and hadn't mm -hmm. really encountered anything that I needed your particular expertise for. Of course. Well... Yeah. What do you have in mind? Do you have any... We did have some requests with everything that happened. Um... We were wondering if you could maybe... Have you seen the other... Um, the other... My first thought, this is out of character, but my, I couldn't remember the, the word for you on T. My first thought was Sneeple. <laughs> <laughs> I could not think of it. <laughs> no, no, it's singular. I mean, that's Nursing. not the correct term. Your new associate, yes. Yes, yes. Um, well, as you can imagine, it might be best to keep her off of our off of your show <laughs> just so it doesn't safety yes for everyone's safety really of course we can certainly accommodate that good thank you the other thing was a little more long term mm -hmm. again as you may have caught from here and there from this zone we are uh Headed to Suth through uh, to the Underdark via Suthara. Mm -hmm. um, and certainly we'll be getting footage from down there. Show you all the lovely nature and such. But um, at some point, particularly as they've uh, sent assassins after us, we imagine that we're going to have some conflict with Suthara itself. So you want to use my information to work? <clears throat> Probably, if you, depending on what you have. Um... We also would like to maybe... I don't know how much you are broadcast within Suthara. Not at all. Ah. It is a generally restricted area, and we don't have any sort of special treatment regarding that. I do know that you can, let's say, get information from, from them, though. Oh, of course. Of course. And those who are getting information could potentially plant information? You want me to assist you in your efforts. What exactly are you trying to do? Well, it's no secret. We don't exactly like the Trifarium. And it would be good for everyone if they were maybe not in charge anymore, you know? You want to overthrow the current UNT government? That seems to be the long-term plan, yes. <laughs> Actually, um, he's... And while... <laughs> Can I... I imagine the fighting we'll be doing ourselves, the whole general propaganda winning hearts and minds thing is more your expertise. Yeah. What? Can I insight check him? Of course. Yeah, I'll also insight check. <laughs> I don't, it's not see his be reaction helpful. to this proposal. That was a very bad roll. <laughs> okay. A seven? Uh, 22. Wait. Oh, wait a second. 
Am I proficient? I am proficient. That's a 15. Thank you. Uh, he's not trying to hide it at all. You both look at him and he actually seems quite pleased with what you're telling him. And he says, you've come to the right person, actually. As you may recall, I am at heart a scientist. And I've become quite bored with the uh, the static state of Suthara. So if you're attempting to enact some sort of wide-range social change, I would be happy to assist. Simply to see the results of your attempts, of course. Of course, after all, we'll, we'll make sure when we charge the gates we have Dwayne pointed right at it. Get you the of course. ground side view and all that. Excellent. A um, whole documentary. Just, we just mostly request that when we are, for instance, making secret plans beforehand, that that doesn't get broadcast to the world. I'm not a fool, I wouldn't dare. Thank you. Of course. I have no interest in sabotaging your efforts, uh, enacting your deaths, or in other ways ruining this entire endeavor. Right. Um, but I mostly just want to press upon you to make sure that, I don't know, you don't have an in random intern editing the footage or oh, something. don't worry. Especially because I... I assume you can look into people's brains so you know whether you have people on your staff that are, um, maybe reporting back to the Trifurium? Oh, yes, there is one. Um, we make oh, sure that you know. nothing okay. gets through her. Yeah, so maybe just, just keep her off this particular project. I do know how to run my operations. Of course. No, uh, we understand. We were also wondering, what would you want from such a deal? I'm simply interested in to see what happens. I enjoy watching large-scale changes in the social makeup of a country or world. It interests me. I like to record what happens. If you could take care to try and be around for most large decisions or uh, impactful events, I would appreciate that. Okay. Okay. Um, I we can, can instead we'll record when we are going in. Um, maybe some of the planning provided doesn't get aired until after things come out. Don't worry. Um, I understand sensitive material, and it only goes through those that are most blind to my interests. <laughs> just insight check him again. Just Go ahead. Sure. Twenty one. <laughs> oh. I have a plus eight. It's a wisdom-based skill. <laughs> nice. You roll to see if you can see into his mind. <laughs> oh, you're pretty sure he's being honest. I mean, you don't, okay. you don't see any indicators of him no, I... concealing information. Yeah, so, so that part of our deal... Be, the player's is... discussing this. I don't think that he's... I think he's definitely interested to see what happens. And he probably wants us to succeed just so he can see more shit. But I also don't think he will, will be woefully disappointed if we go out in a blaze of glory. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Alright. So that half of our deal is... even, then. Good. And if things become slightly too dangerous for you, please don't hesitate to call upon you, me and my uh, company for help. After all, you are still trying to prevent the destruction of the world, and I have no interest in that. In in the world's destruction, that is. Of course. I suppose I you do a live here. interest in continuing <laughs> your existence. I also... I know originally when you contacted me, um, you gave me a few options of what we could trade back and forth, right? Yes. Um... Well... Getting information from the Trifurium, of course, is already, I assume, part of our first par for part of the first part of our deal, right? Mm -hmm. Indeed. Okay. Well, I was interested in. I know from research on you. No offense to you, but we have researched a little bit about you, your company, of course. Not surprised. <laughs> well, we know what happens to your workers if anything happens to you. Ah, interesting. Yes. And we have people that we care about that work for you. And we don't want some random explorer coming along and getting a lucky shot at you. So, 
Is there any way we could get Lorelei free of this deal? I'm afraid not. And I also have no interest in such event- events, um, as should your associate be freed from her predetermined contract. Uh, I do believe part of your part might be interested in enacting my death, and I have no interest in that. So, for my safety, no. And also, it strictly isn't possible. It's not possible at all? No, I'm afraid not. Inside check. Go ahead. I'm going to use a different die because this one keeps rolling bad. Nice. 16. You can't read this, man. Okay. It seems for all the world like uh, it seems that he is telling the truth. All right. I'll take it for now. Uh, there is one last thing. Yes. We should discuss. Um, so you probably ascertained with the footage, or maybe you didn't. We had some serious injuries and things that he did fixing. Raising people from the dead costs diamonds. Diamonds yes. cost money. And it's been a while since we've been paid. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll send an intern to something later. Wonderful. This went wonderful. I can't believe it. If Esso wants to haggle, now would be the time. (laughs) I'm always interested in a polite and respectful discussion. Of course. I do need to ask, how much money are you thinking of giving us? (laughs) Alright, I don't remember how much I've paid you guys before. (laughs) Neither do we. Don't worry. I know. And it's zero for me. <laughs> God. I'm not salty about it. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, okay, so what, is it, what exactly did you say? Tim? What? What exactly did you just say to him just now? How much money were we getting out of this? Uh, he smiles and he says, I will send you the required amount, or an offered amount. I'm sure you'll find it more than adequate. I suppose that's all right, for now. Of course. This does take a lot of money to run, though, you know, airships. <laughs> what the money doesn't grow on trees for airships, you know, so... <laughs> He looks at you near and he says, uh, exactly how many diamonds are in your lantern? Uh, or was it you? No, it was your associate. How many diamonds are in her lantern and of what sizes? Do you know? Uh, I don't know off the top of my head. I just know there's less now. Understand. the whole me getting murdered thing. Of course. Well, uh, when you return to your ship, please let me know and I will send a replacement set in the basket. Was it all right? During this part of the conversation, by the way, Mir has gone from like, I have a plan to like, I am the small child watching the adults talk about monies. <laughs> <laughs> Haggling, not my area of expertise. Right. So he looks between the two of you. Is there anything else? I think we've covered most of our bases there. Wonderful. We'll keep in contact, of course. Obviously. I Obviously. Will, I will call you with anything that comes up. And, of course, many offers. Of For course. You, Pessa. Okay. And any information coming out of Sithara that you think is pertinent? Of course. All right. I will keep Pessa puts her hand out for a handshake. He will shake your hand. Make a wisdom saving... Th- no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> can I, by the way... You know it. <laughs> on an unrelated note... Yes. Can I, like, roll stealth to see how many breadsticks I can stick to the bag of holding? 
stuffing During bread sticks in your bag and folding. I have to go. <laughs> My breadsticks. I feel like he does not care how many breadsticks you put into the bag no, of folding. The staff he really might. doesn't. <laughs> You're in like a little clearing, a little forest clearing area. They but won't. Mira's see. socially awkward. She she doesn't <laughs> want them to know. It's fantasy she gets a awesome total... garden. You gets you a... may, um, but uh, Ruvain will shake your hand and then he will uh, stand up, give you a polite nod, and he will leave. Uh, he's not You're going for lunch, right? <laughs> yes, he's he left a slip of paper on the table for the wait staff, which has uh, a name written on it. It's his name, but they know what to do with that. That's sort of the most expensive thing on the menu. Yes, five of the most expensive things. Go ahead. Get enough to bring doggy bags back. Yes. I mean, go wild. Enough it'll, for everybody. They'll barely be noticeable for him. Ha <laughs> ha! Meanwhile, Tiska's just on the ship, like, with the hair on the back of her neck standing up, like, <laughs> I sense a disturbance. <laughs> An asshole has entered the, the, the city. <laughs> but yeah, Mir gets a total of 20 to, to, like, just stick, like, a couple dozen breadsticks into the bag holding on top of the food they take home afterwards. Yeah, there's that sort of, like, little basket of bread. Fuck, I'm open sticks now. There's that little basket of breadsticks on the table, and, uh, Hesse, you've been talking with Rudane. And every time you look, like, back to the table or, like, let your eyes look away from him in his general area, there's, like, less. And you're like, that's weird. I thought there were more in there. But there's not. And then it's gone, and they fill it. And then it happens again. And you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> you don't know where Person they're going. Starts paying more attention. You haven't noticed me eating them. eat a... Oh, one no. or two of them, but you don't think she's eating that much. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps, like, side-eyeing Mir. Does she notice? Does she know? Your passive perception is an 11, so no. <laughs> she's very wise. You, uh, you just noticed they're disappearing. As soon as he gets up and leaves, she leans over to Mir. So, what the heck was happening with the breadsticks? They just keep disappearing! Snacks for later. Shhh! <laughs> <Ducks, laughs> Ruvain actually does duck back in, takes one, and leaves. Amazing. God. <laughs> yeah, just everything the- Oh no, I keep my yarn in the bag of holding, it's gonna smell like garlic now! Yes, it will! <laughs> yes! God damn it. <laughs> Nier will eventually realize this poor decision, but for now, just we order all the nice food <laughs> to bring back to the party. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Yeah, y'all are like Mir. Mir and Hessa leaves for lunch, and they come back with giant piles of super fancy food, and we'll probably also swing by the shops to pick up parts for uh for Hessa's. There's like a shrimp a and di green dish. contraptions. Oh heck yes. I'm gonna trick out this ship. Oh god. It's yep. gonna be yeah. great. God. Under supervision. And one cup of coffee at a time. Mm hmm. <laughs> sure. Again, I will Remember, spring every one not... of these traps. <laughs> you're not trying to catch us. Okay, so you need to let us know where you have put them and how to get around them or deactivate them for when we want to get through. Okay? Fine, I'll try to remember. God. <sighs> what? You can see, like, behind Mio's eyes, like, I have made two decisions today, and one of them is going to be a lot worse than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> we return. We return. And anyone in the party the rest the... gets to help. Join me. <laughs> yeah, so Mir and Hester return with a bounty of food. That's the party. Yes. And uh, while you are munching on just the fanciest of hors d'oeuvres, we'll um, fill you in on what the fuck we've been doing. <laughs> do we want to do that? <laughs> There's like super high quality I mean, Alfredo. I think at some point we're going to have to answer where the fuck we got this. Or we could just avoid it. Can. I've done this Come for on. years. I am great Come at avoiding. Come on, Hessa. 
Have Tosca's some. probably never eaten at least like a third of the stuff you brought home. <laughs> Remember, we within the Rift Watchers were a family and we need to stick together if we're gonna get through this. <laughs> There's these really nice like candied chestnuts. Yeah, so you get a hug whether you want one or not. <laughs> <laughs> We're family! Telling the truth! And also, uh. I think if I don't feel- Remember, if we don't feel in Misa now, she will want to kill us both later. She won't, because it's Misa, Misa but would she'll never want kill us. to. But she'll be disappointed in us, like, oh. more so. And that's worse. That is worse. <laughs> Fine! But let's not talk about my deal. We yeah. won't. We'll just. No, we'll okay, fine. Yeah, I won't. I won't say that. I said if it comes up, we'll deal with it. But for now, we're just gonna say, hey, we're keeping Kaimi on the down low, and we may get information from Saris. But we should probably still be careful with them. Still no, but. Mister Man. <laughs> that bastard. Fine. Yes. The <laughs> bastard. <laughs> First food! <laughs> Fine. Food Mr. is Mr. Man. Important. Mr. Man is, there is. Uh, short for Mr. Bastard Man. <laughs> His first name is Bastard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please, my father was Mr. Man. To call me Bastard. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> but yes, Spirit has to throw, show up with a thrilling tale of terrible decisions and a lot of fancy food and there is breadsticks for everyone <laughs> honestly i think this was a pretty good decision yeah you he agreed with pretty much everything you wanted yeah. well right now i think feel it's a good. good decision sometime in the future there is going to be shit we did not foresee that we are going to have to deal with but that generally applies to everything we do so yeah <laughs> Yes, we return, and, uh, at this point, if the party wants to react to this news <laughs> of what the fuck we've been doing... Don't worry about it. <laughs> we did great. Nobody died. So I think we're doing great. <laughs> Intense and spiteful gusto. <laughs> it's coming out of his pockets, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, there's plenty of really nice yeah, stuff in there. Don't worry, we made sure to get plenty of expensive food. Mir, do you report the diamonds? Uh, yes, I assume. Have, we been, have they been delivered already? No, they have not. Uh, you had to go and count them. There's uh, like... You, you, I don't remember the exact amount that are on me this lantern. I don't think it really matters that much. Um, it's just 500 worth of diamonds. 500 or 300? Uh, I think... Here, let me check. I think there's... I think it's 300 for Vivify and 500 for Raised Dead. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's... Yeah, okay. I am checking now, because I want to make sure that I have enough diamonds for Raised Dead, because I currently have 500. Let's see... <laughs> uh, yeah, ra Raised Dead is 500. Enjoy combo. <laughs> And revivify is 300. Okay, so it's 300 worth of diamonds that broke, um, roughly. Uh, so you report exactly the... He, he asks you, or the person you're talking to over the phone, because it's not Ruvain, it's just some person, uh, asks you to... Some intern. Yeah, it's like a lower level secretary or something. Asks you to measure each one, like the exactly everything you can about it, so they can get as close to replacement as possible. Um, and probably... Is it possible to get some spare just in case? Uh. Oracle uh, piss for some magic y things, because support will want to tech up a little bit. Right, sure. Um, they will send you a replacement set for the lantern, but no more. They will be also sending you some other stuff so you might be able to purchase more. Alright. Um, but you, you, you don't receive anything of that evening, but in the next morning, uh, where is your ship, by the way? You, you're at the university, right? So it's just, is it just sitting on the ground, or is it, like, next to a tower, or? I assume it's wherever there's parking for it. 
That's true. Because, you know, universities always want to tow your stuff if you don't park. Where if you don't have the to. right permits. God, you're right. Okay, so you're probably. So we're parked uh, like a mile away from the university. Like, we have, like, the. Because we don't uh, have a student permit. Yeah, we don't have the student permit. Like, we get a temporary permit, but we don't have, like, the normal place where you would put it on the ship, so we have to, like, tape it to the outside. Yeah, it's just stuck on there with some scotch tape. Giant <laughs> hunk of hell rock floating there with this little parking permit sticky onto it. Nope. Uh, okay, so you're at the, at the university's airship docks, because I know they, they have one. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, okay. So... The, the next morning, when you leave the ship uh, on the end of the dock, a fair distance away from the um, ship itself, there is a young high elf who is wearing a, a uniform marked with Azith's symbol, which is a, a blue crystal. And uh, they are holding uh, what looks like a woven silver basket with a covering over it pretentious dick they know you coming out their hair is in three braids that join together in a little bunch uh, and they sort of perk up and they pick up the basket in both hands and hurry over to you and they hold it out and they say oh, this is courtesy of Azith thank you of course no, thank you. <laughs> they hand it over and they will hurry off alright what's in the basket there are two potions of superior healing. Uh, the replacement diamonds. Um, a couple high-quality bottles of sparkling apple juice. Sparkling apple cider. Uh, and a small, pale, wooden carved box um, with a latch on it when... You open it up, it contains 500 platinum. Jesus oh, Christ. Jesus. Mir, like, opens it, looks at it, and then just, like, slowly closes the box and goes, Oh. Okay, then, I'll just add this to the party funds and go ask if we want to buy a small island. <laughs> <laughs> there is yes. also a small note in, uh, it's a, a white, a thick white cream card. Um, with some printed text on it inside a small white envelope uh, and it says uh, in recompense for your recent misfortune <laughs> misfortune you mean death it's fine <laughs> it's referring to the entire ordeal with the assassins <laughs> it's fine alright uh, I return to this the party and say so uh, well, first, Misa, take these. We'll have to remember to tell her next time. Um, oh, the diamonds, yes. Refill the... Thank you for, for making sure I'm not dead and all. I'm much more useful alive. And there's bread down the material plane. Um, I'm, I'm getting distracted. We have monies? Uh, Has a uh, anyone... immediately starts playing with it. Playing with what? Money? The money, yes. Just You're picks out, so much. Just pulls out one of the one of the platinum coins and starts doing like those little hand flip tricks. Right, so my thought was, um, if we needed some sort of supplies, or if someone needs better armor or something, now probably the time to do that. I'm sorry, someone's sending me memes, and I have to post them for you. Yes! <laughs> yup! That's us. I also received yeah, these nicknames. I, the... I love them. Yes. Name God. things said them as well. Thank you. <laughs> to the anonymous person. <laughs> Though I, I... I will say Mir has sworn for all. She's just learning all sorts of new ones on her adventures. <laughs> God. Hessa supports it. Like, part of the reason she was put in the temple was... Well, to calm her the down. actual... Hmm? To calm her down. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. To she got into some sh shit. It, it was more specific incident that pushed them to put her in the temple, but they were considering it because of her fucking <coughs> mouth. She liked to hang around the docks a lot. Oh, fuck. 
So she literally swears like a sailor in the voice oh of sailors. <laughs> Hello, Alpha. Alpha. Alpha, hey, welcome. We have diamonds Alpha. for you. You've been uh, gifted replacement diamonds for your lantern. We talked to Ruvain, Mr. They, Bastard Man. Yeah, they went and had a conversation with Ruvain. And we didn't you tell you till afterward. To <laughs> because otherwise, at least one of us probably would have tried to stop you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They had lunch with him. It was very nice. They brought back food for everyone. We made him pay for it all. He was quite obliging. <laughs> He we good to help you over for the Trifurium. And so many breadsticks. Friend. <laughs> yeah, no, no. He's still not friend material. He's still a piece of shit. He's a tool, but you can use tools. He's... <laughs> <laughs> I like that laugh, Falcon. What are you talking about? He just wants to help us. Ravain just wants to. Ravain is happy to help you. Exactly. Everything's fine. He's interested to see what will happen oh, yeah. when you overthrow the government. We have two healing potions. Do people? What are people's healing situations like? I have my own that I made. But we have another couple. Uh, was it superior potion of healing? Yes. To right. superior. So that's I think eight d four plus eight. I believe so. Hmm? We also have fancy apple juice. He also gave you some fancy sparkling cider because it's good. And um, and five hundred platinum. God. Yes. So we're distributing the potions, and we're gonna figure out if anyone is needs a bit more equipment. Push it ahead. Five hundred platinum. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yep. I gotta turn your volume up. I, it's at maximum. That's the fun part about using this computer with this headset. Oh god, okay, oh, let no. me do some adjustment. I'm gonna have to turn everybody down. Rip. Rip. And then my volume up. I need to get a PC specific headset. I don't have a USB plugging headset, so it's not great. Oh, my volume is up on maximum. Shit. <laughs> okay, let me turn my... Rip. Chat, just turn your fucking computer volume up. Sorry. <laughs> okay, and then you We made go. an attack. Yes, sir. Oh, my. Rip. Okay. It should be good. I'm already. Just double check. I think I already have Max to burn from it. Let's see what other people need. Magic items? I recently lost some, so I always will take more. You lost some? Yes. My eyes. My mm. beautiful eyes. That was a long time ago, and you are not yeah. allowed to have them. Those I'm... were cursed. I still We're not think those anything eyes. cursed. They were so good, though. They're not, not yours. They could be, though. No. <laughs> cursed. Like, literally cursed. Oh, that's not the only cursed item you guys own, but yeah. It's a little cursed. Wait, Last what, what you other had cursed a items do we own? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, you can go oh, shopping for magic items. I have the prices up and everything. A lot of stuff is in your range now. <laughs> yeah, um, just got a... You currently have, like, a plus one armor of some kind? I have the plus one wolf armor mm -hmm. that is plus one and it's plus an additional one if I'm within five feet of an ally. I'm starting to think we should maybe give that to someone who is more often within five feet of the ally and not flying above. Hmm, possibly. How much are like bracers of defense? Six thousand. Uh, I'm fairly certain that I cannot 
physically give me anything. Well, there you are. Not, oh, not, not, no. Not, not, not like armor weapons, I don't think. She, she's got enough. You do have quite a bit. You're quite strong. Uh, too, too strong, one might say. No, I think I've managed to level you out with the rest of the party at this point. <laughs> You're quite strong, but, you know. So is everybody else. Strong. I need to get that that weird demon, that devil. The power of gay. Uh, what are other people's armor situations like? I think Brom has some just classic heavy armor. I don't think it's got, got anything special. I've got classic plate. I have studded leather. What do you see from this? Is that correct? Instead of leather, I believe, is a 15, plus your dex. Yeah. I'm wondering if that no. makes sense to Spotted spend... Leather is not no. no, it's, it's not? not? leather is like... Yeah. Oh, start... shit. Or, okay, yeah. yeah. Cause regular... No. Regular leather 20. is... Regular leather is a 10... is an 11 plus your dex, and studded is 12. Goodness, okay. I would yeah. have a 20 Good. AC. Uh... And plate, uh, AC 18. Okay, so yeah, and Jesus' armor is a uh, giant fucking snake size. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, magic armor tends to resize, but I'm not sure if it resizes that much. Yeah. And like Tiska's armor is has the same as studded Ooh. leather, but because yeah. it's magic. Chanty, thank you for the resub. Holy yeah. shit, that's forever. Time to yeah, count Amir them. Hell has yes. The stuff on as well, so. And but... that girl doesn't do armor because wizard. Temp, I think, has more monk dodgy bonuses that are better when he doesn't have armor. That's right. right. Armored defense. And he has braces yeah. of defense. His, uh, his AC is 20. So we could have just could give the, uh, the leather armor to. Tessa, so she'd at least sometimes get a higher bonus than we can get bracers of defense for uh, Tiska. Let me see. Yeah. Here. Another plus AC. Well, because what, what do bracers of defense do? Uh, How much well, of a if you're wearing no armor and using no shield, you get a plus two bonus to AC. Although, wait, would that. That would put me no, at that would be 10. about the. <laughs> your AC. Well, you, you get your desk? Because, what is your. My dex yeah. modifier is minus two. Oh no. Why is the only two? reason God, right. my AC... That would be why Brace Defense are yeah. cheaper than normal plus two armor, because you don't get the base armor as well on it. And I'm guessing yeah. if a rare item is 6,000, we can't afford a very rare, which is a plus two. Cause... Um, I will posit this one to you. There is a an uncommon rarity item worth 3,500 called the Cloak of Protection, which ups your AC by one and all your saving throws by one. Oh. I can also haggle if you need help. Oh god, damn, it is. Um, I know because yes. I fucking I mean, well, love I that figured, item. As I said, we're, we're just discussing logistics on the ship right now. When we go to the actual buying, Hessa is definitely coming along. For sure. Yeah, uh, I'll haggle for are you. Are we still at the university? Yeah. Where are we? You are. Okay. Yeah, it requires attunement. Would, uh, I guess if you took off the wolf armor, you wouldn't be attuning to that, so you could attune to the cloak instead. He wants to find out what this... What well, because the only reason I have a... Have and AC over 10 is because Falk said that, like, the having armor on itself would allow me to right. not to not have uh, my minus X mod. What do you but, have attuned? Would you be able to do the armor and the cloak? I think the only things I have attuned are the armor and my, uh, my staff, I think. I have to check, though. Give me um, a second to the scarf. figure out which... I thought the scarf was not attunement. It's not? Okay, I didn't remember if it was or not. I've got the DM's guide open if you want me to... If it's an item that's in here, I can... Uh, oh, it's not, because it's based off Stone of Good Luck. That's right. Ah. Yeah. Which is not so. attunement, which is why it's so fucking good. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking Ooh, of... Yeah, I'm about to go look that up. Yeah, because that's why we ended up deciding uh, to get that, because it's uh -huh. not attunement, so it's like, I have it for right now, but we can just bounce it around as need be. I mean, okay, so in the DM's guide, it's a stone of good luck, or luck stone. Lux, it's 4,200. But you could 
swap it out for the cloak, which would give you the same. Well, you swap the the plus from ability checks to a plus to AC. It is attunement. Uh, the Stone of Good Luck, at least in the DM's guide that I have, says that it's attunement. Oh, I might have made it non-attunement as a bonus for getting ah. it enchanted onto a scarf. I remember seeing somewhere that the... I, re I vaguely remember seeing somewhere that the Stone of Good Luck itself is non-attunement. Uh, I don't have my DM's guide open. I do, however, have I'm just a going website. off. Yeah. So I'm going off what's in the DM's guide, but it could be they changed it in later printing. I don't know. Let me look it up on this. Luck stone. Hi, viewers. Welcome to Accountants and Actuaries, where we debate uh, about <laughs> magic item slots and gold. Honestly. <laughs> God, God, right? Stone of good luck. I misspelled I it. That, I forgot that y'all like gave money. Oh, don't I have the, uh, the, isn't the tooth in attunement item? I don't remember. The... It's in your head, so I don't think we're taking that out. I don't think it is. I don't think it is because it would be very difficult to not to just remove it. <laughs> yeah. So it would be kind of a dick move to make it one of your attendant slots. Yeah. The hound tooth. What is it? What's it fucking called? Dog. The, dog pack. Uh... That's what it's originally e called. Uh, I think we called it the Howling, or no, howling that's fang. the, uh, yeah, the Howling Fang. I'm, f I'm finding the, um, page where I got it. Doesn't say if it's a tune or not, so I'm gonna assume no. Okay. I have 5e e tools open somewhere. There. I've got a bunch of stuff pulled up. I could find even more useless magic items for you if you want. Someday I might try to acquire the, what is it, the cloak of bread or something that's like, what's for day, just pull bread out of the pockets of this cloak. Jeez. Jesus. Enchanted a little bit fancier cloak of pastries, that's Zagros. God. He'd love that. You would. Limbus bread. Stuff's good. I'm gonna make some of that for my birthday. That's an uncommon? The cloak? No, I'm, I'm looking at a list and adamantine armor is uncommon. Yeah, what is that? Uh, negate crits or something? Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it is a hard fuck you to crits. Yeah. I can't wear it because it's metal. That's right. I could get some for Bromble. Good. Ramen visa can. And then, yeah. if you want, just plus one. Let's figure out what's what's in the budget. Plus one armor is fifteen hundred. Plus two armor is six thousand. How much is adamant? Let me see. Adamant. Five hundred. Is uncommon. <laughs> oh yeah, we should. I should get Brom some fancy adamantine armor. It can be the same type as he normally is, but then he doesn't get crit. Even more of a tank. He can just keep slugging. Jesus. God. Only if it gleams. Oh, I'm sure it will. Yes. The way I'm gonna do adamantine armor, because it's it, it looks like it... It feels more like a modification to an armor than its own armor set. Um, So I'll just have a smith add that as an inlay to it. A magical myth, obviously, because... Yeah. Or like, a fancy metal veneer. Yep. Uh, What's up? What up, Lurks? What do you oh, need? Ever... Stone, of, Stone of Good Luck does require attunement. Does it really? So, maybe I'm just stupid. I think the scarf doesn't. I know I changed some stuff up. Um, because it was from that lady's very, very cool clothing shop. Anulies. Yeah. Anulies. Yeah. She's calling cannolis or something to make you real annoyed at us. <laughs> We're bad. Yeah. We're the worst. It was uh, yeah. Anulies, uh embroidery. Anulies yeah. Yeah. You know, how do you remember the name I of that? I took notes. Holy yeah. shit. That's 
must be nice. I'm impressed. Oh, Thank you. What What's that? At <laughs> taking notes. I, well, I, I gotta keep track of what's in the bag of holding, so. That's true. Because the wise god only knows. Fair. Yeah. Uh, god. Imagine, cr imagine putting, like, adamantine armor on one of us and mithril on the other. Mithril god. does what again? It, uh... It, it I think it removes the... On dex checks or has turned oh, wow. Oh, because it's really lightweight. But yeah. it's also, yeah. it, is, it is also on commas. Yeah, I've got a character in my campaign who has that. Uh, and it's Anali's finery, my bad. I do have it written down in this book. Who is it? Yep. An Anali and her three dollars. Daughters. Three dollars. Ah. Three whole dollar. Three whole dollar. Yeah, I have it as a new lease. I should fix that. Was it A-N-A-L-I or? A-N-A-L-I, yep. It's a replacement of either plates or mail segments. You get two colors of armor. Oh, so it's like a... So it's like when you have a, one part on a car that <laughs> that's clearly not from the original car. Oh, yeah. like the weird colored hoods and stuff? No, not like that. Okay. <laughs> But like I mean, artful. <laughs> I mean, yeah, whatever it does, it's gonna look good because I like a word that looks cool. Uh, so it'll be like um, either an inlay or oh, like a sheen. So you want to window dent your armor, basically. Okay, damn it. I can make anything sound lame. It's one of my skills. Oh god, what is it called? There's like this folded metal Makume, I think? Makume? Oh, this is not like a DD item. No, this is a, a real thing where they like fold two metals together so you get like these wood like yeah. warps and. Oh, um. That's, uh. Oh, what's it? Oh, this the type of steel. Damascus. Yes, that. It's Love Damascus. Damascus yeah. We can't That's replicate real it. Real nice. We can't replicate it properly. No, every time we've tried it, it's always gone fucked. We can get but. something that's that looks similar, but we can't get something that is it. Uh -huh. Which is a shame. One of the unfortunate practices lost to time. Yep. And probably a lot of invasions. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, to upgrade an, an armor with adamantine, it's 500. To upgrade with mithril, it's 800. <laughs> Shit like that is what I was thinking. Ah, yeah, that's that's like a Damascus pattern of it. Yeah. Mariner's armor, which I guess is a swing thing to upgrade that it's to fifteen hundred. Wow, there's some expensive armors. I don't even know if there these are. There's the plate armor of etherealness, which... On the upside, Misa doesn't need to breathe, so it's not like she can drown. That's true. True, but she'll probably Spax. sink like a rock. Yeah. Imagine you're like, those just swimming, and you're just like, like yeah, slithering along well, the bottom of the lake bed. Can bed... Uh, hold on, what's... You're a boa, right? Uh, yeah. Can boa swim? Answers.com Thanks, Only if it bites you first. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, let's try that again. Study.com. Um, I'm not going to become a, ans a, a fucking member and make an account to view this answer. Fuck you. Okay. I, I National... SI.edu. The boa constrictor has an impressive swimming ability, but it does not like water. It will stay away from it at any given moment. So you can swim, but you kind of suck at it. I'd probably hate it a lot. It's not fun. So you're gonna have to, like, you can't use your hands or anything while swimming. Mila is a Boolean python. Not Boa, sorry, my bad. Python. Yeah, 
Yeah. Uh, actually, a bunch of pythons are, like, fucking incredible swimmers, apparently. Oh, you might be pretty good at it, then. Can python swim? Google. Ecosia. Can python swim? Can ball python swim? Yahoo answers. There are videos of swimming with pythons. Incredible. Oh, this guy's just nervous because he wants... Can you just leave him if he gives his python a bath? Oh. Yes. But don't leave him unattended because it's not good. <laughs> Remember, they are very good climbers, so. and if you leave him unattended, you may have a snake on the loose. Yeah. Yes, they can swim. So you can swim. Awesome. Now, she is also still far, far larger than one's average snake. But at least she can until she becomes bones again, and then all that goes out the window. I also apparently have this ring of swimming. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where I got this or why. Uh, I don't either. Ring of what? Swimming. What does it do? Make uh. you swim? Gives you a swim speed, so you don't have to like make swim or athletics checks. Yeah, yeah you have a swimming oh, speed of forty feet while wearing this ring. Oh, okay. And it's not an attunement. Yeah. Better than average swim um, speed. Yeah, uncommon. So we could try trading it, or we could just hold on to it for a. Uh, future need. The ring? I just Impossible. heard the yeah. switch noise. Oh, that was my switch, yeah. Forgot I had it set there. It needs to be charged. Okay. And I was playing my civilization game where I play Sweden and name all my cities after IKEA furniture. That's nice. All the IKEA furniture is named after specific things. Did you know that? Like, a, a certain type of furniture will only be named after, like, a, a flower, or some things will only be named after, like, bounds. Oh, so yeah. it's possible I have actually given one of my Swedish towns a Swedish town name. That is entirely possible, yes. Furniture store. Amazing. Um, yep. My capital is Are we planning on doing this shopping at the university? Uh, I mean, you, I mean it's in Ibril, and you're in the main city, so... Yeah. This seems like our best opportunity to buy... To have most access to shit. I am, yeah. I'm considering figuring out how to get the brand seer fixed. Okay. Uh, maybe mad, maybe maybe an enchantment on it later. Uh, because I don't I don't think fixing it with the magic on it is uh, viable. Or cheap. you, I don't remember. I don't think there was magic on it. It was on there, fire. Was, uh huh. Um, yeah. I know. Was that just a thing the devil did? I didn't you guys like detect magic on it or something? No. No. It was just broken. Mm. And we decided, okay, cool. Never mind what I said then. You have no idea if there's magic on it or not. Well Mir was going to try and harvest some sort of essence from it and he was going to get fire elemental essence, but then we decided that she decided she wanted to keep the, or Misa decided she wanted to keep the Ransuer intact. So we didn't harvest simple, so. I assume I there's something fiery to do with it, problem. but mm -hmm. I rolled really well in the gather check. I think you got a sense from the devil. Or maybe it was from the like, the like thing that nearly like chewed traits. me up like a meat grinder. Uh, that. The, yeah, yeah, that was yeah the, the automata. The automata devil. Oh, no, yes. okay. No, Mir definitely tried to get essence from the Ransier. I just said that I wanted it, and we. Yeah, we but I think she was. I know she was trying to gather from the Ransier, but I thought it was something different. You you successfully gathered stuff hey, from. Hey, can you check if this is magic? <laughs> Broken as fuck now. Yeah, I'm a wizard. That's come. What do you cast? Identify or detector. It's not magic. Cool. 
It's just a just a weapon. Okay. We have to confirm. Um, yes, so, to, not even going to comment on that. Um, to Tiska, how much do you currently have attuned? Be um, figure that out. If, if the, <laughs> God damn it, lurker. If the scarf is not attunement, then I only have things or er, two things attuned. DM rolling is scarf attunement. I don't think it is. No. Okay. I don't remember. It would get you a cloak of protection, which would give you a plus one bonus to AC and saving throws. That'd be nice. Uh, and how much was that one? It's an uncommon cloak of protection. I believe. Let's see here. Thirty hundred. And I can haggle. Yeah. And I mean, I can. Uh, I'm just making a plan these. so we know generally how much. All right, and then yeah. so look at the section for Tiska, and then you're looking at getting some thriller adamantine for Brahm and or uh, Misa. How much did those cost again? I would say only one of us. I mean, uh, Adamantine, I believe, is, is 500 and Mithril's 800. And Misa has, uh, Misa still has disadvantage on her stealth because she's huge. Yes. Like, she's a large size, so she can't. She so can't we won't stealth. bother with Mithril for you. <laughs> yeah. We'll just get the Adamantine for you then. Can, can Misa be critted because she undead or? You can be critted. I can, I've critted her before. I've been critted. Yes, many times. Okay. <laughs> it's fun. Oh, it's great. I enjoy it quite a bit. <laughs> okay, so we definitely could do a cloak of protection for Tiska, adamantine for both armors, and mithril for Brom. We can afford that with the pile of money that Saris gave us. Um, is there anything else we're trying to look for, or should we just go start with that and do the haggle? Uh, Misa wants more art lessons. <laughs> And maybe, like, maybe... I like, doubt if... we'll be haggling at the same spot for that, but... No. Can upgrade an armor she... with both? She uh, put that out there. Yeah, why not? Her holding all of these fucking dyes. I would like to learn how to paint some more. <laughs> maybe I could paint the arrows and give me the sheep. Oh, that'd be so pretty. It's a, it's a bit dark. You don't know if it'll... It's, it's paint made for living things, not... That's we'll what. get her different paint. <laughs> she'll, she'll find different paint. It's fine. Mithril in the joints and adamantium plates. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Yeah. That's a fun way of putting it. What does adamantium look like? I think it's, like, supposed to be kind of dark. My brain just jumps to adamantium stuff in the Marvel verse, so don't ask me. <laughs> God. Adamantine. Images. Minecraft. Oh yeah, did they just add that with the... Or Metallurgy the 2. That's netherite. Uh, okay, yeah. Might well, be a mod then. I'm getting a lot of pictures of clocks. Not really sure why. Is there a clock company called Adamantine or something? I don't know. They're all very fancy though. Clockinfo.com. Um, doesn't tell doesn't tell me much, but it appears to either be pink or green. Oh, that's probably smart. Okay, so okay I'm getting a bunch of weird anime of bullshit. Yeah, I'm so. also seeing that. I'm gonna say it's green. Mithril's white. The easiest Brahms armor. <laughs> Hell yeah. There will be nothing left of the original. We are taking. You're taking pieces. <laughs> slapping new ones in instead. We're improving it. Alright, so I think that's our major things. Let's run anything else. Near might grab some more potion ingredients, but other than that. And like feel free to look and, uh, through We might want Magic yeah, items. I'm through DM's guide just seeing if anything jumps out. Um but I don't know if we can because yeah, anything up to you can always ask. The prices the are different. Cost, but in common. Yeah, true. 
Uh, not really going. Right now, what we're looking at would total to D three hundred before any haggling. Oh, I see. Uh, interesting. Oh, here's a question. Hey, hey Falcon. Pull up. There was something in the Xanathar's guide. One at a time, please. One at a time. Falcon, I'm you going to DM you something real fast. Okay. Hold on. Sure. Uh, Skylark, go. Uh, I'm looking for a thing that was a common item in uh, Xanathar's that might be useful. Hang on. Uh. Hmm. Uh, I I don't see why not Alpha. Cool. Great. Awesome. Thank you. Sure. Oh, I just just toss out like twenty gold for that or something. Great. That's... Okay. Um, I was just going to... Anyway, um, I was just going to ask whether we should get Zacro an Enduring Spellbook, or see if we can get that enchantment on his. Enduring Spellbook, spell along book. with anything written on its pages, can't be damaged by fire or erosion in water. And it doesn't deteriorate with age. Is it from Zans? Yes. I do not have a price for it. It's under common. Zans actually decided to give us common items. Okay. So I um, to grab the candle of the deep, which glows even underwater, but then I remembered I have the light cantrip, so. Yeah. Not too good on that. Yeah. Laminate or spray your current book. Wait, so it just makes it waterproof? I think so. And waterproof fireproof. and fireproof. Oh. Nice. I can't imagine it's that. It's probably just an enchantment for your current spell book. Yeah. Which is already glossy anyway. Ooh, thunder. Thunder, cried Dulcibel. It's a yeah, reference. Uh, two oh questions. God, I forgot this was a thing in here. Yes, hit me. There's such a thing as a pot of awakening. You put a, uh, it's a 10 pound clay pot, and if you put a shrub in it and let it grow, it becomes an awakened shrub. What? I want that. We need this. <laughs> I want that item oh, immediately. God. I almost just dropped my phone. How does the moon cut her hair? I want that item. How, JD? Tell us. Oh, Jesus. Oh, curse. That's Fuck pretty off. good. Um. How could you do this to me? This is there anything aboard the ship that Temp can as, repurpose as a forge heavy heat source? You want to build a forge on the ship? Um. I don't know. I don't... Not not traditionally, no. Um, if you were a super genius, What's you could probably do something with the guns. The engine? You have no idea. There is no way to get into it. Probably for the best. Uh, wherever there should be, or where you might think there is an engine room, there is only flat, smooth stone. You have no idea how to get to it. Magic. powered by magic. Powered by magic. By friendship. Uh, if you get in, you'll find a Probably. single man lying on it. Never mind. God, no! No! no. <laughs> Please. <laughs> huh. Is that a reference to something or just you? Yeah, don't worry about yeah, it. It's bad. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> What? That was Ab. Oh Say god. Hello. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hello. Hey. They got real startled and came over here when I shouted no. <laughs> what is that spelling? <laughs> I believe in you. You got this. Lurker, I believe in you. <laughs> Rip. I believe in you, Lurk. Okay. Uh, question. Second question. What was it? You're uh, you're doing your best, Lurks, and I support you. 
<laughs> that remind Lurk try out here trying to type mind reminds reminds <sighs> me of that uh lesbians. Lesbians. Take your time. <laughs> lesbians. Lesbian lesbian. Take your time. Gorals. That that armor is so extra. It doesn't what do anything. <laughs> if you think that's extra, dread helm, wondrous item, common. This fearsome steel helm makes your eyes glow red while you wear it. Yeah, I don't really know why you would want that. God, it's like the fucking death mask. Us. It's like the death mask from Mass Effect Three. Where it gives you it gives you better prices, but it covers your entire face up, and there are only two glowing slits for the eyes. It's horrifying. Terrifying. Damn. There's also a wand of scowls and a wand of smiles. Oh. Oh. What I love I is love that it. if is that when you uh, expend the wand's last charge, you roll a d20, and on a one, it turns into the other. So your wand God of scowls damn. becomes a wand of oh, scowls. Oh, that's fun. Or your wand of smiles becomes a wand of scowls. I do like so that. Good. Hilarious. That's so much better than a lot of those things are like, oh, when you expend the charge, it breaks. Yeah, I always hate that. I always remove it because I don't think it's fun. That's cool. Yeah. Song. But didn't That's already fun. have thaumaturgy? I'd go for a wand of pyrotechnics. Uh, Lady Chu, Toy, thank you for the song. Thank you for supporting the Irie. We really, really, really appreciate it here. You are amazing and wonderful. And I appreciate your presence and everything about you. You're the best. This wand has oh, yeah. charges. Oh, no, that's not. You can use an action to expend one of its charges and create orchestral music by waving it around. The music can be heard da, da, da. up to range of 60 feet and ends when you stop waving the wand. Uh, oh, the wand it's ringing. gains all expended charges daily at dawn. If you spend the wand's last charge, roll a d20 on a 1. A sad tuba sound plays as the wand crumbles to dust and is destroyed. No, my god. <laughs> sad tuba. The, that's <laughs> tragic. This that is, is what we need. It just... It just God. does the uh, uh, the uh, the Price is Right noise. God, no. <laughs> I need to roll some percent on this. Um, by the way, Misa is going to uh, very gently poke GD in the shoulder, or GD, Zachra on the shoulder, and hand him a the bell that oh she God. pilfered from uh, the Devil's office. On the ship. I Alpha, think. you've been regifted sub by anonymous. Oh lord, have I? You oh have. lord. Oh Eat. lord. They're back at it. Oh, oh shit, almost. My chair is rolling away. Fuck. All right. Back at it again with these white vans. I'm sorry. Oh. Back at it again. Oh god, it's ah. control movement of my chair. Cloak uh, of back billowing. at it again with these free subs. Cloak of billowing. While wearing this cloak, you can use a bonus action to make it billow dramatically. Oh, Val had that. I want this. God. I need this. Right now. Has the spots this. And it's just eyes go wide. However much it says it costs in the in Zans, we'll go ahead with that, because all of these are like pretty inconsequential items. Uh, and uh, they're yeah, not on my are document. Common. These are common. I don't know whether let's see just the hey, exotic butters. What the fuck is an exotic butter? Oh god. It's exotic butter. How is butter exotic? It's fucking butter. No, it's exotic butter. Uh yeah, it, butter but stuff like apple butter or like spice butter. Oh. No, no, it's just exotic butters. Butter made out of dragon milk. Uh, dragon butterfly milk. dragon milk. Yeah, there you go. No, that's okay. it's only in the Feywild. You can't have it. Remember, you'd, you'll get it for that guy. For that guy. Yeah. My he my my first my first uh, session. Yes. Yep. Oh God, okay, that anniversary is coming up next month. Oh, wow. The magic Aww. item. The uh, magic item base price is this year. It says for common, the base price is 100 gold piece, half for a consum consumable item like a potion or a scroll. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, in which case, yeah. Guess what? We're going to have a game on, on my uh, joining the game anniversary. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. 15. I, I hate to interject, but we do call that thing, uh, that situation the uh, game anniversary. Game anniversary. <laughs> you know what? I'll take it. 
Less words. Rolls off the tongue better. A E. Fifteen. Forty-one. Oh my god, I'm rolling the weirdest, most horrible oh. shit off this list. Yeah, the Horn of Silent Good. Alarm is indeed the one of the common items. It's, uh, with the novel of me. Because I have it in a bag of holding. Good Christ. Fifty-four. Oh, that doesn't exist. There you go. Oops. Also, I was off by a day, so we're close. That doesn't Not exist. Quite. I guess we'll start by haggling on the the armors and the cloak of protection. Would yeah. that be the same spot or two different? Before we um, go, they're going to hand the bell to Zagro and go, I found these on the ship, what do you mean? I think you're being asked to check if it's magical. <laughs> the, the what? Uh, she got a bell on that demon ship that we Ah! Into. A little, yes. Demon bell. You're being asked to identify the bell. Yes. <laughs> you do it. Okay. Uh, it is a little chime. It's a little silver bell. And if you ring it, uh, you can make a lock open. It is a chime of opening. Please what? Wait, what have I done? Also, yeah, sorry. JJ. Oh, exotics. I'm sorry, I didn't see that. Thank you. Um, yeah, I don't see why not. What kind of woods? For whittling or what have you? Um... Sorry, I only processed butters. I didn't even see the woods. Because <laughs> we were all making jokes. Because we were making jokes about the butters. I thought you wanted butters. Bright colors. Ooh, okay. It's fucking Minecraft up in here. Um, yeah. You can hop by a, a marketplace and find someone who does, like, um, furniture woodworking and get some small oh, scraps from them. Wood. I don't I know what that is, to be wood. honest. I know it's the name of a place of power, that's all I got. Um, should Heart be in... Well, has... well, it's... Well, Heartwood is technically the innermost part of a tree. Right. But, uh, it can look pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, so it's not like a specific tree. Not that I I'm think... aware of. Yeah, but it's still... If it's from, like, a decently old tree of good quality, then it's, like... It it's looks got, cool and is more durable. It's got a range of colors, and because of the ringing, because because of the the age of the tree, so many pretty woods. You get some interesting patterns off of it. Mm, okay. Yeah. yeah uh, um, drop. I don't know. Five gold for a, a good sized chunk of a pretty wood, and you can have as many as you like. This is Iral. They grow trees here. Grow trees here. Five each. Yeah. Go what? Um, so we and Hessa, I guess, go for the armor and magic shopping? Sure. I also want to pick up a bunch of junk. Like, junk parts to trick out ah. the ship. Yeah. Yes. Uses Nearby for your... Just try to acquire some potion ingredients. Gotcha. what I have. Mises is going to look at getting the Rancier fixed and then art supplies. Okay. Tisk okay. is going to dump... 500 gold into the uh, armor, the funds. Oh, you have money. Okay. <laughs> I do have some money. I don't have a lot of money, but I have some money. Okay, well, so we'll I'm put dumping... that toward your cloak. Yeah. So I'm dumping 500 towards that because I feel bad using a bunch of party. That's fair. Alright. So I guess we'll start by trying to acquire the cloak since that's the more expensive item. Okay, go for it. Uh, you head to into into the city, and there are there's a thriving market district. Ibril is a a, a very well traveled and well known place, of course. 
Uh, so it doesn't take too much to find a, um, a sort of, uh, like, armor regalia shop. Um, features a lot of really nice elven-made stuff. Um, very fancy, beautiful. The beauty is, is highly sort of held in esteem when it comes to these particular pieces. Uh, so it's a lot of, like, very beautiful decorative, uh, decorative armor. And then a lot that is functional, but still holds that same beauty that you, uh, that you notice in the more fancy stuff. Before, just before we get there, Hess is going to be the one doing the haggling, right? Yeah. Yes, she has an actual Christmas score. <laughs> I do. Eagle Splendor. <laughs> <laughs> Have some advantage. advantage. I'm guessing that doesn't it doesn't work if both of us cast on. Uh, no, it does not stack. Okay. Probably not. It's it's worth a shot. Uh yeah. Hessa uh, and Nisa have that good good charisma. It's a Sneeple thing. It's a Sneeple thing. Oof. Despite Misa being Mir has a six charisma, so she's just gonna bring the shopping list and money and keep her mouth shut. <laughs> I have. What is my charisma at? It's a good question. Probably. I have a plus seven to persuasion. Wow. Like, I have an okay charisma, but, um, I don't oh, have, like, any. Oh, so I, I can't overlap the, uh, Eagle Splendor, but I could give you guidance, which is a cantrip if I keep forgetting I have. Um, yeah. so which lets you add a, add a four. I was trying to think of who Jessa was. <laughs> I could it's not just for the one of those days. It's really one of those days. Wow, it got really dark yeah, out basically, there. Basically, if I cast it and then in the next minute you can roll a d4 and add the number to one ability check. Mm -hmm. so. I just looked over the chat and saw mm, mouse butter. So that's great. <laughs> what? That Don't want to know. Don't want to know. It's from the Exotic Butters conversation. I saw yeah. that. Yeah. Posted and I mouth it. butter. I was Who no. do you think did it? Anyway. Of course it was. I'm gonna we go fight buy a fancy cloak. Combat. So you head to this shop. Uh, and you do <laughs> see... It, me. It, also, it also has a number of beautiful cloaks. So it does armor and it does cloaks. Uh, specifically designed to fit into the armor or onto any armor. But they look best with theirs, obviously. Uh, and you do find that they have what you're looking for is a it comes in different sizes they've created I don't want to know about triple butter chat I don't you know what you're fuck you go look up cat butter wings. entertain Wait. yourself chat um, what? don't worry about it uh, we look for a cloak that'll work with wings with wings because for Tiska yes yeah. it, it needs not get caught in her wings I might have to edit it for that. But wings are not a common. They're not common. Fair enough. So, might require a bit of customization. Um. <laughs> uh, but yes, they they do have multiple multiple pieces, multiple cloaks. So you garner or you garner. Jesus, I having trouble with words. You gather that they might be able to personalize one for Tiska. Uh, it is well, owned... Unless, unless Tiska objects, we'll bring her along and maybe Robs could be like, these are the people we need armor for. You have their sizes? If you yeah, are, you have to bring these along too. Along. Yeah. Everybody going shopping. Yeah. I'm good with that. Misa is going to come along for this, then find a weapons person for... for... The here. Shopping episode. She she specifically is interested in having it functionally fixed, but uh, the the spring mechanism mm -hmm. was fun. She thought that was neat. So uh, the shop is owned by what looks to be a uh, a lizard folk with a feathered crest. And she looks up as you enter. Uh, she kind of surveys your party. And she goes, Right, what do you want? 
Why, what hello you... there. Hello. We saw your beautiful shop. I have to say, uh, we've been to a lot of places. This is top notch. Hmm, I, I guarantee you it is, yeah. Uh, I have some of the best, best cloaks and armor you'll find in all of Iron. We especially had our eye on, she'll point to, the one we are looking for. Ah, yes. Cloak of protection. Good, good cloak, that one, but... Yeah, Mira, like, make sure to go through the list with Hessa beforehand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What we're looking for. I'm not going to say anything, because I don't want to fuck it up. <laughs> Wonderful Rip. choice, that one. Did we have any other clothing items we wanted? Uh, I think just modified armor. Ah. Uh-huh. You're gonna want a smithy for that one. Uh, fortunately, I do know one. I can direct you right to him. That would Shouldn't be, be wonderful. Much of a problem. Absolutely. Uh, and she will give you a business card for a uh, for an elven name. Massa Hess. You're so valid. You're so valid. Lurker, you're wonderful. I support you. So it is with this lizard folk woman that you can haggle for your cloak. <laughs> haggle indeed. So yeah, she will name the price for you, which is the fucking one that I mentioned was what thirty five hundred. Thirty five hundred. Yep. She'll name the price. It's thirty five hundred. I wrote it down. Thank you, because uh, I could go look it up again, but you know. Fame none. <laughs> 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 I'm fucking post. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I remember I that post. That oh, it's... <laughs> the baby. <laughs> oh. The bond's name. Maybe, you know, I don't know if we can keep going. I think I'm done for the night. I can't anymore. God. Go on. We get to just stop and we have a break to compose ourselves and then we can actually, I don't know, go somewhere. Fuck. God. <laughs> like we're actual adventurers or some shit. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, let's... Oh. oh. <laughs> so, Okay, break. Oh my Should god. Should we take a break here? <laughs> my name's James. <laughs> I'll see Five you minutes to regain our Fuck. composure. I'll see you in ten minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll see you in ten minutes.
Okay. Uh, I was trying to save you because I was eating cheese, so. I was gonna, uh... JD, thank you! Yes! Um... <laughs> what? What? No, Marker! Marker, stop! Why? There's a spike going out of where the chat can see this or not. They can. <laughs> Consume jegging. <laughs> right. Oh. Uh -huh. um, okay, well... Also, uh, uh, for context, uh, uh -huh. I was saying that yesterday was Ash and I's by Uh-huh. Oh, months. and then you're gay, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and that's, then, that's where uh, And then things escalated. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, Skylark was like, you're gay, as opposed to anyone else's gay. Ooh. And right. that my ass was in response to, I believe. Yes. <laughs> right. It was well. not I'm putting you on blast, Lurker. Joe. We were goofing. Lurk, we love you. You're wonderful. I'm you're, sorry. You're the best. I did not mean to insult you for typing. I know you're having some issues with it. I just. Typing is hard. Making stupid jokes. Right, well. Uh, Back to shall, the shall we? Okay. <clears throat> so. You want to haggle this cloak? Sure. <laughs> Alright. Okay. She names the price, it is 3500 What was. What's the usual price? 3500 Just trying to see if we can get a discount. With a little, yeah. probably an extra fee for customization for wings. Mm. Is there anything or what? So there's only clothing in this shop, like anything interesting. Clothing and armor. Ooh. Nobody else wants anything. Well, I think. I no. mean, we're going we to, to the blacksmith for the other yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because those are custom pieces that we have to alter. That's right. We're very excited to shop with you. You see, we're adventurers. Mm -hmm. um, you might have heard of us, the Rift Watchers. Uh huh. Yeah, we're we're on TV. <laughs> uh huh. I can't uh -huh. believe we're trying to get uh get discounts in exchange for influence. <laughs> this We've already got the life I wanted. This is my favorite store on the Citadel. I was about to say that. <laughs> That's literally what I'm about to go for. <laughs> God damn it! This is not you where I wanted that. my life to go. <laughs> no. What Listen. Is the name of the shop that we already made a deal with. <laughs> it was insomnia cookies. Mm. You see, we've already made. We've already talked to um, insomnia cookies about. Um, some, you know, branding deals. We'd love to work with your brand as well. It sounds like you're taken. We can do it with multiple companies. There was no... I assume you're not selling cookies, so there's... Yeah, exactly. Not they're not... They're not, uh, direct competition. Listen. We're an hour from... What was her accent? Who I knows? don't remember. I don't either, so I'm just gonna remake happened? it. <laughs> Uh, she says, listen, we are an hour from, uh, <clears throat> from the Azith headquarters. I assume you know that we encounter a lot of TV stars here. Uh-huh. I appreciate the offer, but my brand speaks for itself. You know what? That's fair. All right. Here's your money. <laughs> you, you stop giving up. up. <laughs> God damn it. They Hesa didn't has take my brand deal. <laughs> Hesa does not oh, have brand. Brand. That was your only that was your only strategy? 
<laughs> a lot has happened, okay? I'm still thinking about... I'm still trying not to laugh. <laughs> it's <hard. laughs> It's 3,500 for the cloak, 50 for the customization. What about straight up 3,500? Hmm... Roll persuasion. You have an advantage. You have advantage. It's a D4. Wait, wait, I have a, hold on. Do we still have the, do we still have the inspiration from uh, the ritual rites, the burial rites? Uh, yeah, because I don't take inspiration from you. Cool. So, uh, Hassa, you have that too. Because <laughs> you, you participated in prayer. And a D4. Gold. This is for 50 gold. Uh huh. <laughs> what, what, what do you get? Keep our inventory from having an uneven number, okay? <laughs> What'd you get? I got like a 25. Oh lord. For 50 gold. <laughs> hmm. I didn't even add anything onto it. Should I add the D4? Is it necessary? I you don't can certainly know. do that. It's a cantrip. Okay. I can cast it as many times as I so please. Add a one to that. Twenty-six. There you <laughs> go. Hmm. It's not worth it. <laughs> Listen, it's worth it for the OCD. Thirty-five twenty-five. Oh. That, that's a good number. I like that number. <laughs> no, that's Alright. I, I was about to say. 3520. 3522. Why must you deny us? 3521. <laughs> no, 3522. All right. <laughs> it's like going into the original Sephora and having like five dollars of forty or for four grand handbag. That's exactly what's happening here. <laughs> Mir's like looking between them, like, and you can just watch her and her face. Like, is this how haggling works? Is this, is Misa, this what's supposed to happen? Mia's a padding lethal bird, going, no. <laughs> it's not. She didn't say this like aloud, but you just get that sense Ooh. from her, like looking between the two, like. Ooh. Misa just pats her and, and shakes her head. <laughs> Yes, it just gives it the money to this person. It, it's not worth it anymore. <laughs> Hessa has caved. <laughs> Hessa's a broken snurson. 3522 then? Broken. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Remove that and the cloak is yours. She'll take a couple hours to uh, size it to Tiska, measure, uh, do some editing, I guess, uh, to... Yep, for yeah. little buttons, buttons, and some slits for the and, wings. And God, that's I feel gonna take... like I lost years off my life because you of that encounter. Did. Yeah. Oh, also, but... Rip Tiska having to stand there for fuck knows how long because I got uh, alterations to a bridesmaid's dress. Hours. It takes a God. while. Alterations take a while. Not not super long, but a while. So. All right, you got that. Anything else you want from clothing and armor shop? Um, I don't think so, unless people had things they wanted to buy. I think she's already taken a significant sum of money. Yeah. yeah. I think we can leave now. I think we're done. Yeah, we just wanted the We can never come back here. <laughs> she actually seems like she enjoyed that. You come back anytime. We can always knock you again. <laughs> Tiska never wants to come back. Misa will come back. Misa will come back. I don't know. Is it? Has to flirt with the shop shopkeeper. Has you wink at her shoulder back. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Hessa looks flustered. What do you do with this? Misa, le Misa leans down before they leave and quietly goes, Sending some message? <laughs> You're one to talk, Misa. That's the point. <laughs> That's exactly what this is about. 
God. <laughs> if right. there could be a cat face on that snake, <laughs> just just a just a little smiling cat. Well, that's what her face is right now. Tessa is just trying not to just blush. Has more hair. Misa is like gently pinching her as we go. <laughs> just come on. Where's the harm, huh? <laughs> Anything protective they've got. Zachariah, you could also wear a cloak of protection if you had one. Because uh, oh, it's not armor. Uh, we don't have... I don't think we have money for two. Probably mm -mm. not. Yeah, not quite. No. Right. That would, I think, take all of the party funds. Yeah. Most likely. Um, is there something like... In Pathfinder, they have like a... Ring of Protection, which let me, I adds have a... plus one AC and takes a green spot. Let me see here. I know there is a Ring of Protection in 5th. Yeah. yeah. I just don't know if it does the same thing anymore. Found a, oh, wow, it does look like it does the same thing. Okay, I thought it did something slightly different. Gain a plus one bonus Same cost. Saving throws, yeah. Oh. Oh, it's also 3,500. Same bonus, yeah. same cost. Uh, oh. Well, because the uh, the cloak of protection also applied to saves. I was hoping the ring of the ring also applies yeah. to saves. Oh, it yeah. does. Mm -hmm. Holy shit! Whoops. To be honest, Sakura, you don't get hit that often. Listen, all also, you need to do is stand behind. Do you behind know Misa. the spell Mage Armor? You just need to stand behind Misa. And nothing will ever hurt you. She is a protection paladin. That's my fault. Oh, so I should. Fi oh, I should fix that. Okay. No, no. I can do that. Let's not. Falcon, no. <laughs> I'll write that down. Uh, oh no. Oh, no. That's what you get for speaking, JD. How dare? Sacro complained about <laughs> not getting. Hit in so sorry, JD. Whoops. Nope, it's too late. You already said it. That is true. Oh no. We've all seen that Tumblr post. Yeah. Yeah. Or Twitter or whatever it was. It was a Tumblr mm -hmm. post. The Tumblr post? Okay. It's always Tumblr. It was I... too long to be a post. Confused. Don't you wear like a literal robe with stars on it? You do. A pointy no. hat. You do wear. Yes. Well, you do have a green coat, a fancy green coat that you got from Anali. To be fair, but you can probably still see the star robe on it. To yeah, fair, and you don't wear that now because you have tiny horns. Entire. So it's you do look. Entire, not really. That's fair. You down. You do it, now look just kind of like, like a dude. It's sort of like. A permanent cosplay of Dumbledore. <sighs> no one That's... takes you as a serious wizard. <laughs> God damn it. No, you you didn't get antlers, How's you just got little horn nubs. The little picture you drew of Zachro with the, the starry rope. Yeah. Because yeah. that was the original outfit. Um. I guess we could maybe do it if I saw a couple of the potions that we have. You could certainly try. But do we need the potions? The eternal I mean, battle. I mean, the I mean, we're gonna battle. probably hold on to the healing potions, but I was gonna get things like the improved potion of necrotic resistance, improved potion of fire resistance. We don't even remember we have those. Think about resistance. Time. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. the problem with resistance potions is you need to remember you fucking have them. Yeah, and you gotta we plan ahead, which is not necessarily your guys' strong suit. No, yeah. yeah. You need uh, fighter that and you the can... paladin. Throw the fighter, oh, the dare. paladin, and everything, and it's fine. You don't need to call us out like this. It's just that no plan ever survives contact with the actual situation. Correct. Correct. Yeah. On your end and mine. So you want to sell those? Uh, sure. So okay. We can get enough money to get Zachro some kind of protective, protective gear. Save the wizard. For sure. 
you can hop into a store Protect and the squishy. see if you can sell those to a, a more local potion maker. Put the, uh, put put guidance on uh, Hessa on Hessa again, and have her haggle the price up. I don't you get know a shot. Want me doing that? I feel Misa like I failed. Can, Misa can give it a shot if Hessa is feeling broken. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'll put, put I'll put Eagle Splendor on you then. All right. Mm -hmm. She was You're too beautiful. It. She was too beautiful. <laughs> I know where we're making another stop. Oh, no, God. I can never go back again. <laughs> Hey, Falk, can Misa swing by and ask for a uh, sending stone? <laughs> no! Oh, no. God. Yes! I don't know, she'll give it to you. Go back again! <laughs> uh. She won't give it to you, but if Hessa comes back, she might. Misa. Misa oh, will no. keep that in mind. <laughs> oh, my. So, you're gonna try and sell these potions? <laughs> yep. Alright. The giant snake is going to try to sell the potion. You can she head into. Will ask for a rundown of what these do beforehand. Uh, you drink them, and for an hour, you are resistant to necrotic energies, and it turns the same, but for fire. Wow, okay. Just neat little handwritten labels on the little box. Beautiful. Yep. If they didn't have them already, Mir added them. Oops, I only hit my space bar. A lot. If our rogue is dating the armorer, do we get discounts? Jesus Christ. So, the potion shop, the apothecary that you had to, is run by, let's see here, uh, a, a tall, kind looking, orcish woman. <laughs> uh, and she glances up as you come in. And she goes, "Oh, uh, hello. What hello. might be you? Might, what might you be in the market for?" Actually, I I was here to sell a, a couple of potions that we had. I was wondering hmm. if you might be interested in them. It's not ordinarily what I do, but I'd be willing to take a look at what you've got if it's something special. Uh, she. Places them both on the counter. Hmm. Homemade, and, I see. Uh, yes. Did you brew these? Oh no, not me. I, oh. I do not have the skill. It is it is our our very good cleric here. Ah. Near looks a little like orange oh, touch. <laughs> <laughs> right, well go go on. She's wearing this sort of um faded a uh, light brown yellowy robe with these uh, paler hems. She kind of folds her hands together and waits patiently. Um, Misa, with the very little alchemical knowledge she's got, is just going to say the briefest thing and let Mir interject. Um, well, we have the um, potion of uh, resistance to necrotic damage and necrotic energies. Hmm. And, um, how long ago did you both do that? improved to, uh, last one hour rather than ten minutes. Oh. Fascinating. And hmm. then, a fire resistance potion, yes. Hmm. Similarly, homebrewed home by our wonderful, wonderful cleric. Aw. You're too nice. Roll persuasion. Yes! <laughs> You have advantage. And a d4. That's right. And a plus seven to persuasion. Ah! Okay, hold on, I need to do math. Cause, let's see if I get something better. Okay, so. Okay, and then. Do I need to add the d4? No, am I going to add the d4 just for kicks? Yeah. Again, it's a cantrip. Just do it. <laughs> Just do it. Just okay, so that's... do it. Good odd. That's a twenty-five. Mm. Okay. 
she kind of looks them over and she goes, hmm. Right, okay. Let's see if an ordinary potion resistance. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, that's the wrong one. Minza is so careful in this shop because she's afraid of breaking anything. Very big, yeah. Very large. She just doesn't join you in the shop because she will accidentally knock something over and break something. Yeah, you're busy, busy getting fitted for your cloak anyway. That's yeah. true, yep. She looks them over, she... The, the orc apothecary woman picks them up, looks them over, kind of turns them, looks at them, sh shakes them a little just to see how the liquid moves. She finally sets both of them down and she goes, I'll give you 900 for each. Uh, Misa will give a a glance to Mir because she doesn't know what that means. She's not... Potions? Cool. Uh, just like, is, is, that, is that good? Pricing of potions that seems good. Yeah. <laughs> Misa turns back and goes, that would be wonderful. Thank you so much. Of course. Uh, while we're here, I should probably stock up on healing potion ingredients since that's what we end up mostly using. For sure. Uh, any ingredient uh, aside from essences is ten gold. Okay. A, a normal potion of resistance. I haven't been able to find those. For sure, yeah, because you can only collect that from monsters. Uh, a normal potion of resistance is 300. So she gave you triple price for the improved. And you what? can see from looking at her, she thinks... She... It looks like she has some sort of plan with this. Oh. Huh. Honestly, she probably thinks she can upsell them to the university. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! That's yes. fair. It's... She notices you looking oh. and she goes, After the, um, incident a bit ago with their necromancy lab, well... Sometimes they might be the market for something like this. Oh. Ah. Mir, Mir, um, Misa will nudge Mir and go, You might have a side opportunity. <laughs> oh, side gigs. Fair point. We're sort of busy with the whole saving the world business, but... Mm, which is why it's... Let's quiet down. I think probably better to sell them to me, because I'm main here. You exactly. wouldn't always be in town yes. for when they need it. But well, you see sell if, off anything that you don't Aside from the... Need. Obviously, keeping everybody alive is my priority, but if I have extra ingredients in time, maybe I can do some more and bring them next time we're in town. I'd be delighted. Um, while we are here, I know that um, sometimes in school areas whatnot, they have some of the, like, not quite failed potions, but they're, like, they don't quite have the intended effects, but they're fun at parties. <laughs> do you have a couple of those? Oh, no, stocking oh up. Uh... Yeah, you want to buy more mystery potions for Zach? Yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll, we, we can discuss later exactly what they do, but we'll... Absolutely. Yeah, go ahead and, and spend... We'll give, uh, I don't know. I'll give uh, Zach the unmarked bottles. Oh, lord. Yeah. It's, just like, it's a fun little game you, you two play. Uh, it's, yeah, it spend... means he doesn't actually drink something poisonous, which is what I'm terrified of. <laughs> exactly. Spend... What did I say last time? 20? For a... For a, a prank potion? Okay. Yeah. Spend good. 20 for any that you would want, as many as you'd like, uh, and you can get little, mostly just cosmetic fun potions. Yes. Incredible. <laughs> but yeah, we decided that the they were, like, failed potions, like the one that turns his head invisible, which yeah. supposed to be one that turned you, all of you invisible, but not quite. Yep. Not quite. Didn't, didn't really work. <laughs> and the color-changing one was supposed to be disguise self. <laughs> God, I can't imagine what people thought of the the meat snake and a headless and a headless tabaxi. You got some looks. You guys got some looks. It was a heck of a day. It was a hell of a day. That was a that was a hell of a day in the marketplace. All right. So what else are you looking for? Um, does uh, the apothecary sell paints, or would that be something we buy elsewhere? Uh, you'd probably get that elsewhere. I mean, just looking for okay. lessons and and. Like genuine paint supplies. The lessons you'd probably like see if anybody in the art program at the university wants to earn a few more a few bucks on the side. Yeah, that's probably something she's uh, going to be uh, doing. Uh, for now, we'll take 
Brom over to the, uh, the Misa as well, if she would like to. To the blacksmith. Get armor modified. Yes, Misa, Misa would. Misa thinks that she might be able to rock some new armor. So some, some new additions to her armor. That'd be nice. She hasn't changed it in many thousands of years. <laughs> it's true. Okay. Yeah, you can head over to the, um... I don't want to look at that. Give me just a minute. Or a column armor inlay. Ooh. Then we can... We'll see whether we're up for returning to the same shop for a second uh, cloak of protection for Zakra, or if we want to try elsewhere. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, Misa will not be letting Hessa have any quarter. She's no like, hey, peace. we could use something for Zacro as well. Let's go. <laughs> Misa will just bend down and go, you know, she said that she would take the sending stone number. Huh? Come on. I'm regretting every one of my life choices right now. Just Good. every one. Too bad you started this. You started this. I did. This. I did. <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> this you is this. hilarious. <sighs> you started this. You are going to regret it. This is my job as aunt. Come on. Come on. You made this what? can of worms. Now lie in it. But. <laughs> Why would? Oh God. <laughs> Misa will be like pinching your cheeks a little bit. Oh my god. She's doing this particularly to be as obnoxious as possible to Hessa. <laughs> the potions of growth? What? I don't know where I get these things from. They're just, they're all what the bag of holding What the fuck holding is list. that? What? Wait, what is a potion of growth? I believe it does like the enlarge creature spell. We need to keep yeah. these. We have to use them at some point. Make me the larger Lurk. than sure it is. <laughs> Lurk. Oh my Lurk. god. Lurker, no! Lurker. No! No! Chat can you see can that. Hide this. <laughs> we saw. We saw your sins, Lurker. <gasps> Crazy Tracy. Crazy Tracy, hey, welcome. I just heard the DM go yeah. gasp and interesting. Oh, sorry, no, I was talking to the chat. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Um, what is the chat Armor. say? Hess is getting the number! Are you yeah. for real? Yes. <laughs> Alright. Oh no. Yes. Oh wow, it's raining. It's raining hard. Oh, can you guys hear that? No, unfortunately no. not. Damn. You cannot. Oh well. Wish I could. Okay, so you're headed back to the armor shop. Uh, Hessa. I thought we were, I think we're headed to the, the rest of us well, going to the blacksmith. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's go to the blacksmith. Let's, let's go to the blacksmith. It's probably getting pretty late in the day at this point, I want to say. Um, so you head over to the blacksmith, and it is... What did I just generate? I keep generating powerful women, I'm sorry. Oh, valid. Jesus fucking oh, Christ in like heaven it. and hell. Good. What? Yes. Hello. Oh, are you okay? DM's gone. Oh my. Oh, what happens? Do you live? Apparently not. Oh. oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, oh, boy. Oh. oh, big yike. Oh, rip. There's our game for the day. if it was something day. like it. <laughs> the stream's still up. Yeah, how is the stream still up? Wait, what? Bamboo's... Oh, are you... Wait, no, the Lena network died. Mm -hmm. Unless yeah, you're on, you're like, a hot spot. spot. Battery. Are you on a hot spot? The power of gay. 
That's what's keeping us going. <laughs> we can still okay. go here. My computer know. is power and internet. Looks like my microphone still does. Yeah. I Intriguing. can't hear you guys because my headphones are dead. Uh, so I don't know if the stream can hear you. I'm gonna probably end it real quick. They went my phone onto the floor. <laughs> can't fucking win. I guess the internet in my complex is still working, but the power in my building is out. So. Yeah, that was wild. Um, it's also out on my other monitor, so I can't stop the music. <laughs> It just uh, keeps going. Or Can't turn the volume up around. Music. Apparently, yeah. So I guess I'm gonna have to call it real quick because I can't do anything and my power's gone, so I'm sitting in the dark. Oh no. Um and I don't know how much power my computer has because the power indicator will be on my monitor, my second monitor, which is dead at the moment. There's fucking gnats everywhere. Oh my god. They're all attracted to the light of my screen now. Because it's the only light here. Oh. I'm in hell. Okay. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm gonna... I'm very sorry for this sudden end, but the gods decided that it's time to be done now. <laughs> so, um... God uh, said fuck you. So just really? For the, uh... For next week, since I... I, I think I can be there. Though. It's the week after. That's gonna be a definite no next week. is gonna be uncertain. Okay, hopefully we can be there next week. Um... If not, I'll make sure to send the like, whole list and what we have left in party funds. Because, well, yeah, alright. Because we're shopping. Alright. Um, in... T sometime tomorrow, can someone remind me and bug me until I actually do it to upload this session? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. We need, like, the... Like, some sort of, like, sad trombone for when the power goes out and the session comes This is the first time it's happened. <gasps> Three and a half years. This is the first time it's happened. We gotta add it to the bingo sheet. I feel like it does become a recurring thing. This counts as technical difficulties. This counts as technical difficulties. Oh, you're right. For sure. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and. I was gonna ask Falcon real quick while we're at the apothecary. Can I swap? Because I have potions of growth. Can I swap one for the the opposite potion of diminution? Yeah. Why not? Sure. We have one for make big and one for make small. Yeah. Sure can. Sure do. All right, I'll be right back. Well, I'm sitting in the dark. It's very, it's very dark, actually. Um, there is no light but my computer and my keyboard, and that's all. And there's gnats everywhere. And there's a lot of big thunderstorming happening. And I'll probably go get some candles in a minute, because I got a phone flashlight. And I think a, a flashlight in my coat downstairs. Um, so I guess abrupt ending, but sorry. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, it's been real good. D&D is always fun, even though this was kind of an intermission session. I was hoping to get some some stuff to them. I gotta remind them Ravane's gonna call them about. Uh, have Ruvain call about head <sighs> fucking Nat. What? <laughs> Fuck, Matt. Nat. Turs groups. Double underline and burp my pencil lead. Heck yes. I can't see chat because it's on the other monitor, which is out. Okay, so thank you all for joining me tonight. <laughs> Sorry this ended so weird and abrupt, but um, I can't really continue the stream when I'm out of power. So I will see you guys another time. Uh, probably next, probably before next Saturday, I'll be doing some Skyrim or something, something fun, hanging out. Uh, and until then, I will see you guys no, that's not in these streams. Until then, good night and stay safe.